if we're being really really transparent i'm half faded right now i'm not gonna lie it's black hoodie i'm back cooking these goodies look at these views from cooking these foods yeah hey yo what up bro what's good with y'all back with another one uh, here with you today on uh, like a little mix and match situation. Y'all know that I don't really partake in anything too sweet, too savory together. Uh, anything uh, breakfast, anything dessertish. I usually love some delicious like actual lunch treats. And if we're being really, really transparent, I'm half faded right now. I'm not going to lie. I am under the influence of some alcohol. And uh, yeah, I'm just here for a little bk in the morning in the evening in the mid afternoon in terms of the palette so uh, i've been wanting to try this sandwich actually for a long time it is the chicken parmesan sandwich from bk if i'm honest it's a little bit letting me down right now it's not looking as hype as i thought it would we got a large fry over here as well i haven't eaten pancakes on this channel i think ever and then there's like these bacon pancakes i'm like you know let me give them a go let me give them a try maybe i'll smush those and then i'll have my remainders after okay so i will say this i'm feeling a little type of way a little something something so don't judge me Y'all have a couple shots here and there and otherwise. I've had a few for myself and now I'm feeling myself and in this state of being, I will say one of two things. I find myself 50-50. 50% of me just wants to mash food and just shut the fuck up and be none other than myself and just enjoy some food, which I probably should do because it's mukbang territory. But half of me wants to like express some shit because when I'm a little bit faded, <laughs> I feel all types of ways about everything. I don't know what's going to happen on this, but let's just let it be. If you're not pouring enough syrup on pancakes, then you're really not doing the most and you're not out here doing what you need to be doing. Bacon pancakes. It makes sense. There it is. The flavor profile of it all makes sense. I'm hanging by a moment here with you. <laughs> that said, on this shit, I will say this. The bacon is faking, evidently. Like, look at it. It's very ready crisp, very microwave. So BK, you are not on that Wendy's true bacon tip, but still tastes very good. That said though, The sugar needs to be more. I'm not gonna lie. That syrup dried up mad quick. And give me more, give me more. Did he get very far? That's grease for all y'all. For all y'all youngins out there should i just go crazy with the bite maybe i should Maybe full savage. As such, is Loki Heike the journey to success? 
Uh, now that we've had our dessert and our breakfast both in one, we can get to our lunch. So it's a whole ketchup and ranch vibe for the fries, which we will do. We'll ketchup up first. Mm -hmm. Very delicious. Just try just the ranch. Ranch and fries. Ranch and fries, or what's up? So, for some reason, I, th I figured sour cream on this would work. Just my vibe. I just felt like sour cream could work. Very clean chicken breast. Mm hmm. The flavors of chicken parm actually very legit. Whatever cheese slice they used has that. Kind of salty, stinky. type cheese in it for sure I feel like they didn't actually use parm though I feel like they used Asiago If I'm being real. That said, the spices. In the actual batter of chicken. Very Italian, very Parmesan. I feel accurate. I legit have been wanting to make my own chicken parm. For like a month now, I haven't got around to it. I saw this sandwich. Literally weeks ago. I've been wanting to hit it and I just haven't till now but it's 
certainly glad I did. It's good. actually nailed it with that sandwich I cannot lie okay on behalf of me and my half faded self hope you're able to enjoy that one till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true